Welcome back. How are you getting on? Are you well? Today we're about to go into the Classic Car Museum of St. Augustine, right? And you were about to see what America was made of. Check out all this old stuff right here. Back in the day, you could get your gas for 29 cents. Bring that home to Ireland with me, boys. They'd love me. Anyway, come on in. We're going in. You're about to see America! Woo! Elvis just used to give these away to a lot of people. Check it out. This is Elvis's style right now. Lordy, lordy. Is he beautiful? Look at that crow, man. Oh, yeah. It's insane to get this close to look at it. Like, I've always imagined it. And then look, I can just picture Elvis driving around listening to his own song. Like, I'm all shook up. Oh, my God. It's the actual Batmobile in person. Okay, okay. Keep it together. Keep it together. This is the 1989 Batmobile from the Michael Keaton movies. And holy crap, look at those machine guns. Batman was no chill. Jesus Christ, man. What you, imagine Batman having to fill up fuel. Look at that little fuel cap. And look at this. What? What's he listening to when he's driving down the road? Batman. And look at the wings on it. Oh, this is just unbelievable, man. Oh, what? Look at that thing. That is like a supersonic jet. Whoa! This is insane! Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit, but come on. You don't you don't get to see this type of stuff every day. Whoa! Okay, an iconic thing I've seen. And by the way, I don't even know if this is a replica. I think this is actually the one out of a movie. Could be wrong though. Check fact check me on that one, but look at that finish. Look at the shiny finish. Serious. Next car, please. This is the most mind right? This is the most mind blowing car I've ever seen. You open the front of it, Kenny. Look at this. Oh yeah. And you just move on. How weird is it your whole car is just sitting in front? Okay. Yeah, you let it close there now. Wow, see that? Steering wheel comes down. You're ready to drive then. That is crazy. <laughs> it's such a small car. Okay. Excuse you, sir. Can you please step out of the vehicle? Yes. <laughs> that is the coolest car. Little pedals right there too. It's so small, it's crazy. I've never seen one of them before. They're, and it's convertible. It's a convertible. So not only the whole top comes off, the whole front comes off. <laughs> we found Mater Bay, the world's best backwards driver. <laughs> Shoot, I'm the world's best backwards driver. Well, hey, looking good, Mater. Oh, this is what it looks like inside the car's heads. So I'm presuming that this was the truck that Mater was based on, but it doesn't look exactly like him. Like it's missing wing mirrors and stuff like that, you know, and where's his big hook? Yeah, the gas tank's actually behind the seat. Wow, dangerous. <laughs> Please don't worry me. Okay, check this out. This is a little bit before my time, but let me know in the comments if you have ever owned one of these, or your mom or dad have ever owned one of these, or your grandparents have ever owned one of these. I've always wanted to drive one because I've seen them on like TV. Like it looks like something out of Little Rascals. So that's what the old one looks like, and that's what it looks like brand new. So it looks unbelievable brand new. Oh, any kid would have screamed over that. And that's what it looks like a couple of years later. Oh my god, that is sexy. 1957. The 50s were crazy. Look at that. This is so, oh, it's like nostalgic, but like not for me, just because watching old movies. I've always wanted to be in that time period for like a few minutes because it was so much cooler and classier back then. We, 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 we don't even care about anything anymore. Like, come on. Oh, that is sexy. I don't even know what's going on with this car. Look at all the pieces and parts. And that's the boot. That's literally the boot. If you lift up all that stuff to get to the boot. And look at that blue cooled seat. Oh, man. Like, it definitely wasn't the safest time period, but it was probably the coolest. Look how low down he is. I was actually trying to figure out how they got all these cars like so close to each other and so parked like inches from each other. I'm like, oh, they literally <laughs> inch by inch them in. It's as obvious as that. But it's insane. Wouldn't want to be the one to scratch the Batmobile. Nice. You got your old Corvette. You got your Camaro. You got your Camaro. You got your Camaro. You got your Camaro. 
Yeah, but the orange Camaro. The orange Camaro. I don't know. I like the I like the white with the orange stripe, but then again, orange is my babe right here. Let's get a look at this bad boy. Orange interior. Yeah, this this could be me. I could be driving around in this. Could, could you imagine, you know, top down, back home, hair blowing, yes. the tractors. Get out of the yeah, way. Yeah, get out of the way of tractors. I'm places to be in this thing. <laughs> Now this is really cool. At the back of their warehouse, they have this professional car studio. Basically, like it looks like something that music videos would be filmed on, right? And I am blown away by this whole thing. It looks so clean and crisp. Like, look at that. There's like no shadows on the car that you don't want there. This is the professional way it's done. It's crazy. Look, it's, my, it's touching my head. And then this is what the final product looks like. So this car was taken a picture of in this very studio. Pretty cool. This car blows my mind. It's made out of wood. Like, what are you gonna do? You can't wax it. What are you gonna do? Varnish it? <laughs> the whole thing's made of wood. It's insane. It wouldn't do any well in Ireland. The amount of rain that we get in Ireland would have that car rotten in weeks. And your man got a surfboard, ready to come down to the beach, hang out with the babes and the guys. It was all spotlight. You didn't move around in that. You know, the worst thing that you can do here is have these brackets, you know, you're driving the brackets give out and think falls down. Oh yeah, you can't see anything. This isn't exactly vintage or anything, but you wouldn't mind driving to the shops and this, would you? Look at that. Oh, she's an SS too. Ooh. She's fast. Shiny rims. Big booty. Big booty. How you doing? Mmm. Damn, Ford went to town on making cars. They have millions of different designs. And like, what are you gonna do? Look, they have a couch in the back of it with no seatbelts. Like you're just chilling. Where are you gonna put your, your knees are gonna be up in the air and everything in that thing. Mr. Ford must have just had all the designers in the world working on his trucks. Look at this. The engine is literally right beside you and the air comes up through the actual road to cool down the engine. Doesn't seem so safe to me, but look, back in the day, I cannot believe they have one of Santa's old vintage sleighs. It's an actual Santa vintage sleigh. No way. Santa used to sit here, guys. Okay, I know nothing really about cars, but any car enthusiasts, will you tell me? Did these things used to just rot away in the back? Like, who has a wooden back bed? Like, that thing's just ready to rot. Pretty sweet looking, though, can't deny. Yeah, get low with it. Oh, that looks too sexy and mean. Oh, no. Can't get any lower. Oh, I can't get any lower. Where are my BMW friends at right now? Look at that. And for vintage, look how sweet they looked inside. You're going to hear me say this a lot. I don't know what this type of car is. But holy crap, this one has a booty. Shiny little kicks on them. Okay, okay. You're doing it, you're doing it. Just two seaters, just for you and your babe, your man, whoever you want to be in the... Cool. I can only picture this being something they had in the Prohibition, and they were just driving around, like, sneakily delivering beer to people. Okay, this looks like something out of Smokey and the Bandit or something like that. I never watched that show, but if you were driving around one of these things, you best believe you were kick ass. It's pretty sweet, though. All right, this could be a top contender for unbelievable interior. Look at the style of that interior, right? You don't you don't just get that as a base model. You had money, you're getting that one. But I would have liked a little bit more leg room between the steering wheel and the seat. Uh, I ain't squeezing into the thing, you know? If I seen this thing driving at me from the distance, I would think the Hulk is chasing me. It is a nice green, though. Green for Ireland, come on, boys. Oh man, I bet that thing can go. Look at that engine though. All right, give us a look, give us a look. What she look like inside? Classy. All right, check out this one, right? I love when they have like the thing that covers the wheel. It's cool. And then here, look this. It has uh, the sun visor. Instead of it like painted in or tinted into the windscreen, just like a little, little cap on the outside of it. I know what color this is. Teal? Belfast green. No way. <laughs> all right, check out this one, right? This one, all right, correct me if I'm wrong. Does anyone else get the vibes of Bonnie and Clyde? You know? 
And it looks like, you know, the, the windshield already got a bit of a Bonnie and Clyde action, you know yourself. Howdy, ma'am. You gonna look after me? <laughs> this is a 1916 Cadillac, right? But check this out, right? I don't get this, right? How, they're like little couches and stuff. Then you gotta get a little stool in the middle, like a foldable stool or something. Oh my God. They don't even make sense. Like, people must have died all the time in car crashes back in the day because they were not safe. And speaking of not safe, they, of course, had a fire extinguisher on the ready. So now we got a vintage carriage. And you have to literally light up your own lumps. Otherwise, you ain't seeing shit. This guy, <laughs> I bet he was waiting on his wife to get dressed so they could go to the party. <laughs> oh, no, and his dog, too. Aww. Now, when I came to America first, these blew me away. They were mind blown because I've never seen anything like it in Ireland. We don't have these there, right? But they kind of lost their vibe a bit. You know, I've seen a million of them now. But hey, give me the keys. I'm driving it away. Okay, vintage can still be really cool looking. Oh, nitrous oxide was Vin Diesel driving this vintage. <laughs> It's even got a carbon fiber dashboard. I would happily take that in my new car. All right, look at this. An official pace car of the Indianapolis 500 mile race. I've never even heard of a 500 mile race. I don't even think you could drive 500 miles in Ireland anywhere. Oh, that's insane, look at that roof. That's cool. Okay, okay. Double sunroof, I'll take it. These seats are crazy. The interior looks like, what, metallic copper or something. Oh man, it's insane. Some people have some crazy ideas out there. This is the GT350 with sexy blue stripes all down the middle. You know where it is. This is so cool. Look at that orange, right? And the spoiler is reaching for the sky, man. That's huge. So the reason that that spoiler is that big yeah. is because when they designed it, they want to put a spoiler on it, but they had to lift the spoiler up so they could open the trunk. That's the only reason. Oh, that right. This one's pretty cool, right? Awesome color to it. And look at the interior. Look at that wooden steering wheel. And then look at the in, inner console all the way to the back. Real sleek. Nice. Some of these cars just blow my mind after car after car. Like what are even those pipes for? Like what? Should they should not be on the inside of the engine? Pretty cool looking though. What's up G? High five. Okay, let's step away from the cars for a minute and let's jump back in time. Like, I literally was born in 93. So, like, I didn't get to, like, live in an era with, like, cool, like, awesome, vibey stuff. Look, you got your jukeboxes while you were sitting at the table eating your ice cream. You could put your nickel in. As you see here, just put... And what do you do? Press your button and you're in the queue. That's so awesome, man. Everything you see here, I just want to put in a man cave, man. This is awesome. Look at this. 1895. Whoa. It runs? Yep. No way. It's a one cylinder and it's a hand crank to start. Wow. To start it right there, a little handle. Crank it up. Uh-huh. Just a little putter down the road, yeah? And yeah, the owner drove it in, so it runs. Wow. It runs on kerosene. Kerosene? Yeah, look. Lamps. No way. And there's the gas tank that holds five gallons. <laughs> oh, no. You're not getting far. Yeah. <laughs> and the wicker basket serves as a trunk. Perfect. Yeah, and top speed is 17, 18 miles an hour, so a golf cart would be good. You could run faster if you were, like, yeah. good enough. Yeah, you're an Olympic runner. <laughs> this one is literally made out of wood. That's crazy. That wouldn't last long in Ireland. It just rot to pieces. Yeah, this is crazy though. Ah, so it wouldn't be an everyday driving car. No, it's basically like a fancy a bus. Taxi yeah. What is this? This is a legit, amazing. Look at it. That is cool. Look at the bubbles going in there. This kid. Crockett, Davey Crockett. That's record player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never had a, uh, had a lead for it, but I remember 
when I was younger, my sister had one. It has a photograph that actually works. Oh, really? So that's older than that, I guess. Oh, it? yeah, this is like early 1920. So, yeah. You put the needle on there. And... And, yeah, and then you have to crank it to get it going. Yeah. And there's no volume, so. <laughs> it's just louder or not. It's just loud. So what you do is you throw like a little hand towel in there to dim it. That turns the volume down. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, those. Spidey senses are tingling, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, hurry up, dude. I gotta make a call. Oh, geez, sorry, sorry. You gotta go save the world, but I have to make a phone call, dude. <laughs> and what's this? This is like an old register? Oh, yes. Wow. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> that is cool. We got some old pinball here. Ching. She definitely looks wasted. <laughs> no, I was just using the uh, phone booth. I'm not super. Oh, quick, you hide saw it. nothing. You see nothing. <laughs> Secret identity ruined. <laughs> and if you come here, you can get your old classic cars all tuned up and shined up, ready to go. So, not only is this a cool place to come, it's the place to be if you have a classic vehicle.